Hey, good morning, everyone. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Happy Saturday. We had some pretty heavy rain yesterday and some incredible thunder and lightning last night. Up here, at least up here in North Naples. And now you can see the storm's still out there in the Gulf. Very, very calm out there. Very flat. Not having any, having any issues with breathing here yet this morning. However, we still are dealing with the red tide. We still have a red tide here. Even though it might look nice, that doesn't mean there's no red tide. Looks are very deceiving with the red tide. This is Area 1 Beach at Del Norwegans Pass State Park if you're new to our beach walks. Later today, I'm going to try to get up to Fort Myers Beach, to the north end of Fort Myers Beach and give you a look up there. I'm curious to see what that looks like myself. The difference between Fort Myers and Naples. Now we're in North Naples, way up in North Naples. The water looks really nice out here right now. Looks pretty clear. As soon as that sun comes up, we'll be able to get a better look at the water. As I look down to the south here, down towards Vanderbilt Beach, you can see the lights of one of the machines that they use to rake the beach down there in the county and the city. They don't do that here at Del Norwegans Pass State Park. They just let Mother Nature run her course. And any beach cleanup that they do, they do by hand here. They do it the old fashioned way. I really don't see a lot of dead fish on the beach here. Maybe they're rotting away or been picked up. I don't see any floating right out in the water along the shore here. But I've gotten reports from friends of mine that are fishermen that when you go out into the Gulf, it almost looks like a little island. The dead fish floating are just so thick in the areas that it looks like a little land bass. Horrible. Then to top it off, there was another, they discharged from Lake Okeechobee, Lake O yesterday. So all that toxic green algae is gonna be coming down the river up into North Fort Myers and the Cape Coral area. And there does not seem to be an end in sight. I guess, I guess it's just gonna, tourism's gonna come to an end here in Florida if they keep this crap up. It's horrible. Maybe when the state of Florida <laughs> is broke and we can't pay our politicians, maybe then they'll do something about this. I'm actually seeing some little swirls out here in the water from the, some little schools of fish are making. It'd be fun to see a dolphin. I've not seen a dolphin swim by here in a while. This 
looking up to the north there. Nice little breeze here. It's about 75 degrees maybe out here. Really nice. Deserted, of course. I've been seeing things on Facebook and in social media that Marco Island, the beach is nice down on Marco Island. That's a bit of a drive from here. But lots of reports that the water is really nice down on Marco Island. And then reports that it gets better the further south you go. I've heard people say down in the Port Royal area, the beaches, the water's nice out there. Seems the further north you go, the worse it gets. Well, we got two, two of our close Facebook friends in the hospital now. Jennifer Ann and Roy. So now we got a, well, Roy's not in the hospital, he's in rehab, but Jennifer Ann's in the hospital with cellulitis. So we want to keep the both of them in our prayers. Yesterday, Roy had to go down to the hospital for, I guess, more of a thorough checkup on his leg. And I guess it is just not healing. Did you see that osprey just dive down into the water in front of me? That was an osprey just came out of the pine tree and dove right straight into the water. I didn't see him catch a fish though, but that was pretty cool. But anyway, back to Roy, his leg isn't healing the way it should be. They scrape some of the dead meat out of his wound. He has a big open wound on his leg. So they're gonna be keeping an eye on that. I'll, I'll be checking in with him later today and see exactly what's going on, but definitely keep him in your prayers and also keep Jennifer in your prayers and any of our other Facebook friends that aren't feeling well. I know we have a few other friends that are in the hospital and we want to keep them in our thoughts and prayers as well. I've seen a couple dead fish on the beach. I mean, nothing as bad as it's been. Still some little bait fish. There's one down here coming up on the beach. If I walk back up towards the old high tide line and where the seaweed washed up during those high tides we were having, you can see some fish still rotting on the beach. Not the most pleasant sight or smell. Fortunately, there's not a lot of them. The rangers have done a good job. The volunteers have done a good job of cleaning things up. Look at this shell. Wow. Usually, we find these on the beach and they're just about the size of your fingernail. This is the bit, I don't even know what these are, what kind of shell this is. I don't know what this is called. They're all over the beach, but usually much smaller. This, I'm going to pick one up here. Sand off it and off my fingers. The one on the right, that's the common, that's the normal size you find here on the beach. 
But look how big the one on the left is. Wow. That little one on the right, you'll find those all over, but one like the one on the left, that's a good size one. What kind of shell is it? Good question, I don't know. Who knows what that is? No, not a whelk or a turkey wing. You can see the water looks fairly clear here, but if you're judging the condition of the water by the color, that's not always a good thing. Just because the water is clear doesn't mean we don't, there's not red tide isn't just 30 yards out from shore here. It does look nice though. A lot nicer than it did. Still not what it should be. It's a little hard to tell until the sun comes up. I'm not getting, not feeling or seeing any of the signs of red tide along the shore here so far. What dead fish are on the beach appear to have been have been here for a while. It's just a never never ending battle keeping this beach clean. Fortunately there's been some great folks volunteering to help come out here and clean it up. Always looking for more help. Anybody that wants to help clean up our beach here at Del Norwegans, just call the ranger station and they'll get your information. Some really big storms. To the west and southwest out there in the Gulf. Down in area one, I saw a little school of fish offshore. I saw the water ripples. I didn't see the fish, but I haven't seen anything up here as I walk for it further to the north. Very overcast to the east here, so the sun's having a hard time coming out here. Here's a little baby turkey wing shell. A little baby turkey wing. Yeah, the turtles have been hatching for the past several months. However, the majority of the nests now are getting destroyed by hungry raccoons all part of the 
problems with the red tide. No people at the beach, no garbage in the garbage cans. The raccoons get hungry. They go after whatever they can find. So they've been digging up the eggs in the turtle nests. So even though we had a record number of nests here for this year, we won't have a record number of hatchings, that's for sure. Sad. There's a few of our nests up here. Oh great, we got a weak connection now. Oh, now it's now it's back. Nest 53. Still a little time left before that one hatches. But you can see signs of a raccoon right there trying to dig dig down into the egg chamber. Egg chamber. This, there's a nest here. What's left of a nest? The mark, the markers have been taken off here. This was a nest here. You can see the broken eggs. The raccoons got in this nest and destroyed it. There's some of the broken egg shells from the sea turtle eggs, little loggerhead sea turtle eggs. Another nest destroyed. This nest, I don't know, nest 39. That should be getting close to time to hatch. thunder offshore. You can see the raccoons have been really active here, digging around here. That's number 56. This is probably still a few weeks away from hatching. You know, next sea turtle nesting season, if you want to have some fun, when we're out on the, when I'm out on the beach and you're following along on a beach walk, when we find a new nest on the beach, write the date down. And I usually, at the end of my walk, I'll be able to figure out what number nest that is. So write the date and number nest that is, and we'll be able to, calculate to about when it's going to hatch. We can start our own little sea turtle watch. That's going to be next May. Not seeing many signs of life here in the water. Thankfully, I'm not seeing a lot of death on the beach. Mm. Boy, it is really thundering and lightning out there in the Gulf. I haven't seen the lightning. I can hear the thunder though. It's really rumbling out there. That is a big storm out there. I see a couple people on the beach down to the south where I came out in area one. I'm not alone. Look how calm that water is though.
Anybody wanting information about Jennifer, very simple. Just send her a message on Facebook. Jennifer's on Facebook. Very easy to get a hold of. She'll chat your she'll chat your fingers off. She's looking for somebody to talk to. She'll probably be in the hospital another couple days. Maybe she might get released this afternoon, not sure. I'm gonna go, go see Roy later today and let everybody know what's going on. I haven't really seen a lot of shells on the beach so far. Water's still looking pretty good up here to the north. Usually gets worse the further north you go. Not too bad. Not too bad out here. There's a little crab just dig, dug itself into the sand right down here. So there is some life down here. I don't know if I can stir them up here. I don't want them pinching me. He buried himself right down in there somewhere. I saw him scurrying around. So that's a good sign. See a little life running around there. Osprey in one of these trees here. I don't see it. I hear them up here somewhere. Boy, this water is really warm. 86 degrees, I think. That's part of the problem with the red tide. The warmer the water, the riper the conditions for the red tide. hear an osprey up there somewhere. Where is it? He's up in these trees somewhere, falling out. the water it drops off here there's like a little shelf and it gets really deep to go back up on the shore I wouldn't advise anybody if you have any open cuts or healing cuts on your feet or legs I would not go out walking in the water Too worried about it right here. Definitely though, you want to shower off if you do go wading. I wouldn't go swimming, that's for darn sure. where I was walking it was very very shallow all out here and then it just kind of drops off right here in front of me it's deep again 
and gets shallow up here again. Well, we saw one, I saw one little crab. He buried himself in the sand before we could see it in the live feed. So that was so far the only sign of life besides some birds that we've seen out here, out in the water. Again, the water is much clearer. Hard to tell without the sunlight out here. The sun is just buried behind some clouds. But you can kind of get an idea out there it is. You can see the bottom here. It's horrible here. Here's some fish that the rangers, the volunteers and rangers didn't quite get picked up. Just proof the red tide's still lingering around here, but there's a dead stone crab. A dead stone crab. And that's a horrible thing to see. That thunder is really rumbling out in the Gulf. It definitely, it looks like a massive storm out there. It's looking out towards the west and southwest. Looks like it's really raining down to the south. Some huge clouds. I thought that was a murex shell. <laughs> it's a piece of worm rock. I was like, what the heck kind of murex shell is that? I thought it was a apple murex. It almost has the same shape as an apple murex. But it was a piece of worm rock. That's crazy looking, huh? I don't know if Jennifer Ann's on board with us here this morning. I don't know if she gets a good enough Wi-Fi connection at the hospital to want to join us here. As I get further north here, the water definitely seems to change color. It seems to be getting more of a yellowish green color to it. Fingers crossed, hoping to find some nice seashells. Some 
nice little line of shells up here. See a lot of fighting conks. I'd love to see some live fighting conks. I think that sun's gonna break through this morning. There's an old moon shell down here. Looks like it's got a hole in it. It's pretty wore out. An old shark eye. Neat shells. Anybody wanting to go visit Roy at the rehab center, he's all for it. The more visitors, the better. He usually goes in for his physical therapy well, sometime around 10 30 11 so in the mornings from oh eight o'clock till 10 o'clock are a good time to visit and then in the afternoons after lunchtime around one are great times to visit roy he's always up for some company those cards and visits that's what's keeping him going He's at the Solaris facility, which is at the entrance to Imperial on 41 up in North Naples. Solaris, it is called Solaris. And he can, he's in right now, he's in room 175. I'm not gonna post that on Facebook. Oh, if you send me a message, I'll send you that info. But there's a little baby fighting conch shell. A little baby fighting conch. Neat little shells. We're up in area four now. Still, not seeing any fish. Scott and Linda were out here the other day and they said they saw some actual big crabs running around just offshore. And I've only seen one tiny little crab this morning. But the good news is, I mean, I can breathe out here. It's not putrid. I don't smell the red tide. We're at low tide, obviously, right now. Not the only think out here are the dead fish that are not as abundant but they're still here very very low tide right now see no birds out on the sandbar tide right now. There's this 
little pool of water right in here that gets trapped when the tide goes out. And that water has gotten really, really stagnant in here. And you can see there's nowhere for it to escape at low tide. There's a lot of algae growing down in there. Get out on this little sandbar here, past the birds. See if any shells might have washed up over the past couple of days. Friends Scott and Linda, they were out here the other day. I think, I think they were out here on Thursday. And they said they said they saw a dead stingray out here. And that's not very good. That means the red tide has gotten all the way down to the bottom. Those stingrays, as you know, they bury themselves in the sand. So that's not a good sign. seeing anything out here on this sandbar. Low tide. Should be a sheller's paradise out here. I'm not really seeing a whole heck of a lot. An old broken banded tulip shell. broken banded tulip. Such beautiful shells when you find them in good condition. Some pieces of worm shells. There's a yeah, nice little worm tip. That's a nice little worm tip right there. A worm shell. Some turkey wings out here. Turkey wing, a mossy arc. And that's interesting show you the difference between the two a lot of people get them mixed up when you see them side by side it's pretty obvious the mossy arc up on the top very easy to see the difference when you see them side by side turkey wing on the bottom Mossy arc on the top, turkey wing on the bottom. I don't know if you can hear that thunder in the background. Dead fish down there. Piece of worm rock. Another piece of a little, a piece of a little baby fighting conch shell.
these. A lot of these little baby fighting conks. I don't know if that's a bad sign. Are, are, are we losing our fighting conks? I've seen a lot of these little babies on the beach. Of course, we always have our slipper shells. I've seen piles of slipper shells. Our slippers. Flip that over. And you can see why they call it a slipper. Looks like a little shoe, a little slipper. Anything else up here? A little scallop. Get lots of little scallops on the beach. There's a little scallop shell right there. You can tell. Looks like a little fan. It's got those little wings, the scallop shells down at the base. The scallop shell. All different colors and sizes of these on the beach. Sometimes some pretty big ones. Another little fighting conch shell. Beautiful little shells. More dead fish down there, unfortunately. Not gonna get away from the dead fish. Not until this red tide backs off. There's a couple nice little lines of shells out here. There's about three lines, three lines of shells that up by the water, then here, and then up here. But out of all that, not really much of anything. Some little fighting conks, some broken stuff, broken moon shells and whelks. A lot of fighting conks, but not one. I have not seen one live fighting conch. Probably in a month. A lot of empty shells. Florida fighting conch, beautiful shells, but it's always nice to find some alive out here too. Sad. And get off the sandbar and back up on the beach. Not many signs of life out here. folks up there under their umbrella like I said it's not bad out here the weather the smell just we don't want to you don't want to go in the water right now if you do I mean I went in the water about up to my knees but I'm definitely 
I shower off good. You don't want to go out in the water with any open cuts or anything. That's why Roy's where he's at right now. He insists on going, in, well, he insisted, he doesn't insist anymore. Insisted on going swimming every day, no matter what people would tell him. He'd be out there swimming with the dead fish and here he had a big open cut on his leg and it got infected and not just infected from the red tide Roy got a flesh-eating bacteria way worse than the red tide so his leg is a mess right now just praying that he doesn't lose it there's always a slight chance that he might have to amputate his legs, so. Being 93 years old doesn't help either. It's looking south. Speaking of Roy, we're up in, at his spot right now, up in area four, up where he plants himself on the beach where he would plant himself. And he and I would have our little morning chats right over, right over in this area, all around here. Audrey's bench is, late wife Audrey's bench is right up around the corner there under those trees. It's not the same without my beach buddy out here. Sure do miss him. See a couple of fighting conch shells right there buried in the sand. Love to find one little moon shell or a whelk shell this morning. Just something. A little something to take home. Piece of worm rock. Another piece of worm rock. That's so cool, the worm rock, when you look at it up close. Super, super old fighting conch shell. This is probably buried under the sand for a long time. It's pretty much become, becoming fossilized, turning to stone. That is a really old fighting conch shell right there. Piece of a moon shell. A little tiny one. So amazing how this beach is just always changing shape, especially up here in Area 4. I mean, it's just constantly changing. I've got to get the drone out here and fly it along the beach.
legally you're not supposed to fly drones over crowded areas and but sadly the beach isn't very crowded lately so we could get away with it but I have a an aerial of this beach from a few years back and it'd be fun to compare the two see the difference It has changed tremendously over the past three years. Gosh, nothing. There's a lot of little shells here, but nothing is just catching my eye here. Just the usual stuff. The whelks, the turkey wings, the mossy arcs. Um, that's an old, old turkey wing there. The fighting conch. The one thing I'm not looking for is shark's teeth. <laughs> I should be. There's so much stuff out here. You see all these little black pebbles. That's the color of shark's teeth too. It's kind of hard to spot them. But at low tide like this, this is probably a good little spot here to find a shark's tooth. Big piece of worm rock out here in the water. Wow, that's a neat piece. That's a cool piece of worm rock. Look at that one. Wow, very neat. Another broken moon shell down here. Kind of looks like a mushroom. <laughs> There's the top of it. It's left of it. Still seeing the poor dead sand dollars out here. The beach was just loaded with these. The little baby sand dollars. Sad knowing they're dying too. Little dead horseshoe crab down here. Another sand dollar down there. morning yeah uh, he's he's in rehab but his legs not healing very well yeah. where's the rehab I know it's Solaris okay. at the entrance to Imperial okay you know where, where yes. Jack's bait uh -huh. is and all that does attorney. he want visitors yeah or? the more the merrier okay, room we'll 175 thank you very much okay Oh, it's so nice, people caring about Roy. Another little fighting cock. Boy, I have a pocket of these, full of these this morning. I just hope this doesn't mean all our fighting conks are dying. I have not seen anything swimming by in the water here. You go back and watch some of my older videos. Boy, we've had some really 
fun times. Another conk. Fun times out here on the beach, Roy and I together, watching dolphins, talking. Another broken banded tulip shell down here. Oh no, this is a crown conch and it's not broken. Hey, a nice shell, a cool shell. Let me wash the sand off. <laughs> a little crown conch. Some beautiful colors on this one. It's a great little find. A little crown conch. Incredible, all the little baby fighting conks on the beaches. I mean, there's just piles of them this morning. That's a beautiful one right there. It's like every time I stop and I just see more and more of them. Saw a little baby olive shell. Now I lost it. Darn it! We had some really intense thunder and lightning last night. Really intense. Some heavy rain. Some big shores. Big shores. Big storms offshore right now. Looking down to the southeast. Some very intense thunderstorms yesterday evening after sunset some incredible lightning strikes I just it's so sad seeing all these little sand dollars up here Our sandbars are just loaded with sand dollars and it's just awful seeing the dead ones on the beach like this. Here's a real, here's an old lightning whelk. That's an old one. Rinse the sand off it, I'll probably keep it. That's a pretty old lightning bolt shell right there. Just something different to add to the old collection. Well, I'm happy I found a little crown conch this morning. That was nice. This is one of my favorite shells, those crown conks. I think there might be some fishermen up here at Wiggins Pass this morning. I'm wondering if there's any fish left to even catch. As most of you know, watching that our friend Jennifer Ann wound up in the hospital a couple days ago with cellulitis. So she's laid up and she was visiting Roy pretty much every day, helping him out, pushing him. <laughs> so now that she's laid up, we need more people to go visit Roy. Need to push him to get out of bed, get in his wheelchair, get outside, get some fresh air. Our friend Astrid went and visited him yesterday. Got him 
up early and had breakfast with them outside. That was great. Before it got too hot, that was a wonderful thing to do. If you want to know where Roy is at, if you want to go visit him, all you got to do is click on up at the top of the post. Any of the posts with his picture, you'll see Solaris Healthcare. Just click on that, and it'll give you the address of the place, and he's in room 175. Up in, he's up in North Naples, almost on the county line, almost in Bonita Springs. Very close to Jack's Bait Shack, if any of you know where that is. There's another nice little worm shell. That's a nice little worm shell. rolling around in the water here. Nice little little fighting conch. <clears throat> Beautiful color. Beautiful colors on that fighting conch right there. Somebody's wondering what I do with all these shells that I pick up. Well, not much. They're just laying all over the house, laying all over the patio. <laughs> There's shells everywhere at our house, boxes of them. Every once in a while, I'll give them, give a box of shells to a neighbor or something. Excuse me. I think I just got a whiff of the red tide up here. <coughs> Pretty stinky stuff. Earlier I was mentioning Jennifer Ann being in the hospital. She's at Physicians Regional over on Pine Ridge. She's looking for visitors too. But the one thing with Jennifer is you can message her through Facebook. You don't want to say hi to her. Look up her profile there. Send her some get well wishes. She's fairly easy to get in contact with, not like Roy. <laughs> Roy is not tech savvy at all. Roy has a Facebook page, but he has no clue how to use it. Every once in a while, Jennifer or Ann will show it to him and they'll check some messages. But for the most part, Roy is not tech savvy or into Facebook. comes one of our friends, Justine, with her bag of shells walking down the beach. There's one of Roy's shells here that we hung for him last week. Glad to see it's still here. Love them. Huh. Now I'd hung one here. It looks like somebody took that one. Why would they take them is beyond me. 
Hey, morning, how morning. you doing? Good. Finding anything? I haven't found much. Yeah. But I'm pleased to see that the water looks better than It looks I a lot better, doesn't it? Yeah. Big difference. Gosh. Yeah, I wasn't sure what to expect when I came this morning, but... At least you can breathe. Yeah. I mean, you don't have that horrible smell. I mean, yeah. it's still out there, but... I'm sure. I was hoping that that storm last night might have helped a little well, bit. Well, you would think all that water dumping in would, you know, would dilute it or something. Well, and, yeah. yeah. As long as we get the wind blowing offshore, that's what we need, that wind coming offshore. Yeah. But I've got friends that have been out there in boats, and they say there's just like, it looks like a little land mass. The fish are just, uh, you know, butted up against each other, and it looks like a little island. Wow. There's just pockets of dead fish out there. That's just heartbreaking. Oh, well. Hopefully it'll come to an end soon. I hope so. And then they keep releasing this filthy I know, water. I, I read that they were planning to do another one yesterday. Yeah, they, they did it yesterday, so. Uh, well. I f the people of the north of us are just getting hammered. I mean, yeah, it's horrible up there. Okay. All you can do is cross your fingers and pray. <laughs> All right, Justine. Yeah, they did another fresh water release there at Lake O yesterday, apparently, and that's killing us. It is literally killing us. I mean, that's not the same as red tide. Red tide's bad, but that toxic, that green algae is toxic. It is horrible. Kills everything that it gets around, and it's toxic to people as well. Very toxic. I mean, the red tide is too, but the blue-green stuff is way worse. What's in store for us around the corner up here at Wiggins Pass? There's a couple people up here. A few little piles of shells. Hmm. There's a whelk shell ups, upside down on its piece of a whelk shell. It was sitting upside down like that on the beach. Weird, huh? Piece of a lightning whelk. That's like the inside of it, the core of a lightning whelk. shells I found earlier. Little worm shells. Those are always fun. I think my best find this morning was, see if I can find it in my pocket here. It's hard. 
so many shells in there. Got a lot of little fighting conks, baby fighting conks this morning, but I found one. I'm never gonna find it with all the conks in my pocket. <laughs> One of the fighting conks. Found a lot of these on the beach, the little Florida fighting conks this morning. Found a nice little crown conk. One little crown conk. My favorite shells. Yeah, I can't find it in my pocket. Nice, beautiful little crown conch, great color, kind of hard to see, there's no sunlight out here this morning, the sun's behind the clouds, but it's a beautiful little crown conch. It's a great little specimen, one of my favorite shells right there. I'd like to find one a little bigger one of these days. I showed you that little fighting conch. There's a little bigger one. Very, very common shells here in Southwest Florida, the fighting conchs. North end of North End of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. This is Wiggins Pass right out here in front of me. Just up in North Naples, Florida, just on the other side of the pass. It's Barefoot Beach Preserve, another beautiful beach. Everything's seeing the, seeing the effects, feeling the effects of this nasty red tide. There's a little snook, a dead snook right here on the beach. So sad. An ugly reminder that the red tide is still here. Here in the beaches are just deserted. Deserted. What is going to happen to Florida this winter? We call our season, our busy season, when all the snowbirds come back home. Another, another dead snow. Horrible. Horrible, horrible seeing this stuff on the beach. Wow, there's a nice little cone shell, an alphabet cone. Just rolled up. It was just rolling back into the water when I walked by. Look at that, nice little alphabet cone. Nice little shell. Great little shell, great find. 
an alphabet cone. It's kind of jagged on the edge there, but I'll take it. I'll keep it. is the Coquihatchee River. We're looking east up the Coquihatchee River. It spills out into Wiggins Pass and out into the Gulf of Mexico. figure out here which way the tide's going. Right out here in front of me it's kind of swirling around. I don't know if it's coming in or going out. It might be right in between tides right now. I know we're, it's very low out here right now at the beach. It's low tide. It might just be changing right now. It's almost at a standstill here in the pass. No boats. Saturday morning, no boats heading out. Very quiet. Of course it is. There is some really bad weather out in the Gulf. I wouldn't want to be going out there. This is where our sun rises, by the way. This is where Roy would come out and get on his hands and knees out here where I'm at and watch the sun rise. It would come out over those buildings there. Come up from between them. Get some beautiful sunrises out here. This is just so sad. I guess the tide's still moving out. See a dead fish floating by. Looks like a little snapper. Horrible. dead eel here on the beach. Boy, we've seen a lot of dead eels. A lot of dead eels on the beach. Everybody wants to know when this red tide is going to go away and unfortunately that's a question that nobody can answer. I wish the answer was today. It's going to be gone today, but I doubt that. Cockle shell. I've seen a couple big cockle shells. I didn't pick any up and show them to you this morning, but I've seen a few big cockle shells on the beach. There's one of them right there. Nice little cockle. And yeah, there's a couple folks out here. I'm not totally alone, but for all intents and purposes, the beach is empty. Pretty much deserted. Just me and the birds.
try, I'm gonna make an attempt here. I'm gonna try to get up to North Fort Myers Beach today. Depends on the weather. I wanna see what it looks like up there. I'm gonna go to a place, I think it's called Bowman's Beach or Bowman's Park, something like that. It's up on the north end of Fort Myers Beach. And I wanna see what it looks like up there. See if they got that green algae up there. I have never seen that personally. Seen lots of pictures of it. But I might do a live feed from up there this afternoon. And if they do have that green algae there, Our problems here are gonna look like a walk in the park compared to that. See if there's anything out here moving around in the water, but I'm not seeing anything, any crabs or anything. No life. Very, very sad. No signs of any kind of life out here in the water. Here's a nice little cockle shell with a hole in it. Guess what we're going to do with that? We're going to go hang this on the shell tree, which I'll be passing by in a minute. We're going to hang a shell this morning for Roy and Jennifer both. Wishing them a speedy recovery. Say a little prayer for them. Hopefully Jennifer will be out within the next couple of days. There's a bigger cockle shell. Does it have a hole in it? No hole. Big cockle shell though, wow. That's a big one. That's a big cockle there. Two cockle shells. That's a big one. You can see the water's clearing up. A little over a week ago, this water was brown. It's definitely clearing up, but we still are dealing with the red tides, and I don't think it's over. Just because it looks better doesn't mean it is better. Well, Roy, Roy and Jennifer, 
Let's see, I'm gonna stick this shell over here for you guys. Find a nice little branch here. Where's a good little, nice little place to hang it. This looks like a good one. Dude, if I can get this branch off the side, nah. There's a great little spot right there. There's a cockle shell for Roy and Jennifer to get well soon. You know what, the other day when I hung a shell, I just gave everybody a minute here of silence and everybody that wanted to said a little prayer for Roy. Now I can add Jennifer in. But Roy said he felt it. He said he felt some kind of light about the time we were all praying for him. So let's do that again real quick. I'm just gonna be quiet. Let's say a little prayer for Roy and Jennifer. Amen, huh? Well, maybe they, maybe they felt that. I can feel it. Thank you, everybody. Just want to take a quick photo of that. Bear with me. All right. Well, there's Roy's shell. Awesome. 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 Let's finish our walk down the beach. I do see a few more people out here. I started all the way down at the end, down in area one. It was a long walk this morning. We made it all the way up to Wiggins Pass. I do see a few people here, thank goodness. But nothing like it should be on a Saturday morning. Wow, two nice cockle shells. Two nice cockle shells for the shell tree over here. Maybe somebody will spot them and pick them up. This morning we didn't see nearly, nearly as many dead fish on the beach as last week. Is that a good sign? I don't know. I just don't know. It's nice that it, they're not there, but does that mean anything? The red tides dissipating? I don't think so. We've definitely had our share of problems here over the past year. We've lost a lot of beach. You can see all this erosion here. Seems like we've been dealing with this red tide forever now. We had an outbreak for a, over a month. Then we had maybe a week without red tide and it came back.
thank goodness we haven't had a hurricane. Well, that's something else. Ugh. Hawaii. Keep those folks in your thoughts and prayers, please. All those people that that hurricane's affecting. That. Oh, darn it. Look at that. That's the side of a big tulip shell, a big banded tulip shell. Man, why can't I find a shell like that? That would have been absolutely incredible to find a banded tulip that size. Lots of little things washing in and out along the shore right now. There's a sand dollar right down at my toes. Sadly, it's a dead sand dollar. Let's see its little feet moving around. You've seen a lot of these on the beach, these poor little dead sand dollars. Maybe a little lightning walk over here. Two little babies, a little baby crown conch and a little baby lightning whelk. Nice little crown conch, interesting color. And a lightning whelk, the bigger shells, the lightning whelk. Fighting conks. I got a pocket full of fighting conks this morning. Did I say that was a crown conk or a fighting conk? It was a little baby fighting conk. Big scallop down there, you see it? Big scallop shell. No, part of a whelk. Part of a whelk, I saw that sticking up, just the top of a whelk shell. A lightning whelk. Nice colors. A little olive shell over here. A little olive shell. There's a 
another one down there next to a scallop, a big scallop shell there, another olive shell. Both these olives are pretty faded out, lost their color. There's an old piece of an old crown conch there. An old crown conch. I found a nice little crown conch this morning. This is an old one, piece of an old one. Boy, there's a big slipper shell. This is a big slipper shell here. Look at the size of that thing. That is a huge slipper shell. See, it looks like a slipper when you flip it over. Slipper, that is a big slipper shell right there. Boy, the beach just isn't the same without the screaming kids, the happy families. It's so quiet. So, so quiet. Slowly making my way back to where we started this morning and hoping to find some some neat shells as we walk along the beach. morning. Well, it's nice to see that there's a few people brave enough to come out here and just take a chance coming out to the beach. Coming out to the beach. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> There's actually a family walking around out on the sandbar out here in area four. You can see the big rain, rain clouds behind them. We had a really intense intense rainstorm yesterday. <sighs> There's evidence that red tide still exists, another dead fish on the beach. Red tide is still here. This is, we found tons of these little conks this morning. I mean, just piles of them. These little fighting conks all over the beach this morning.
There's a little tiny baby lightning whelk. Little tiny lightning whelk shell. That's cool. But we're definitely at low tide here. Looks like the tide's coming back in on its way back in. Some little sandpipers there. I'm going to cut across and get out on the sandbar here. I didn't, the birds were all over the south end of it this morning, so I wasn't able to check it out. You can see some pretty distinct lines of shells here. But is there anything interesting out here? Now there's always something interesting. I mean, it's up to the person that comes out here. First timers, it's always fun when you come out here. You see all the different kinds of shells. seeing anything here. I guess I was hoping to find one nice moon shell this morning. Found quite a few broken ones. Shark eyes or moon shells. Found quite a few broken ones. I was hoping to find one good one. Found a couple nice worm shells this morning. There's another little worm shell down here on the beach. And lo and behold. Ah, it's got a hole in it. A little moon shell, but it's got a hole in it, darn it. I went to pick up the worm shell and I saw this upside down. I'm like, oh my goodness. I got my wish, the shark eye, but nope. Flipped it over. It's got a big hole in it. Well, that's the little worm shell I was picking up to show you. Over here, a little black scallop shell. Tide is definitely starting to come back in now. Just turning. Lots of little olive shells right in this little area. Lots of olives. Worm shells and olive shells. There's a little worm tip and a nice little olive shell. Nice little colors on the olive shell. But no moon shells for Rob. <laughs> no shark eye for Rob. Darn it. Or a tulip, darn it. Another broken banded tulip shell over here. There's another of my favorites, those tulip shells. 
There's just a piece of one. Came close, close to finding a moon shell. Close, but no cigar. See what Justine got here. Well, Hello again. did you get anything good? I found a whole bunch of sand dollars down oh, there. Yeah. All the little little ones between the size of a quarter and a half yeah, dollar. They're just, just washing, yeah, they're just washing up by the thousands now. Yeah, it's really sad. But otherwise, no. Nah, no shark's I mean, teeth. Some, I found one portion of a shark's tooth, but it's a sad. Oh. You know, it's it's so broken up. Oh, but, well, at least you found it. Hey, a piece I, of I one. I found a couple, but I the other one was so broken, I just uh, left it. Cool. All I right, see you later. Take Yeah, I come out here eh, th maybe three times a week and just look around. Okay, what What are the big things you look for? Well, just moved here from Utah. So. Well, here the fun things to find are whelk shells, lightning whelks, and those are. This is this is a whelk, okay. a lightning whelk. This yeah. it's, this is an old one. It's lost its color. Mm -hmm. These that you have here in the bucket. These are these are real common. These are called fighting conks. Yeah. Those, yep. Now, you know we've got this red tide out here. Yeah. Normally you'll find these with the conks in them, okay. crawling around. Yeah, on the beach, out in the sandbars. And you just can't take the ones that are alive, right? Anything that's alive, yep. You put it back. Hey, cutie. But good luck. <laughs> Yeah, I wish we'd find something alive out here, huh? So sad. We haven't seen anything crawling around on the beach today. One little tiny crab out in the water early this morning. No dolphins swimming around. I miss our dolphins. Hopefully, they've moved away. Hopefully they're not around here. Ugh, there's a dead fish. Upside down out there in the water. See that white thing? That's a dead fish. Probably a dead catfish. Well, there are people out here. There's no sun this morning. Very, very overcast. Very overcast. There's a big pile of shells right down here. I'm oh, not seeing anything. Sir? Huh. Well, here I am. Oh. Hope I didn't disappoint you. No. <laughs> Say hi to everybody. <laughs> From Maine? From Maine. 
Thank you. Nice. It's so funny. I, I meet people, you know, from all over the world here. They say, hey, I saw you. And I mean, from all around the world. Wow. <laughs> it is so neat. Is so I wish the conditions were better for you right now. Oh, no. I mean, it's this good. is. I'm from Maine. So yeah. <laughs> but it, I mean, it could be so much better yeah. here. Well, I'm coming back. This is. Yeah. I mean, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. Hopefully sooner than later. Yeah. But thank you for watching. Sorry. Thank you for all the videos. <laughs> oh, my pleasure. That is so cool. I have met so many people out here through Facebook. Here's a little tiny olive shell. A little baby olive shell out here. Another little baby olive. This one's missing the tip. Neat colors on it, though. Hey, be sure, be sure to look up our friend Jennifer Ann. Look up Jennifer Ann and send her a message. Send her a little personal message, a little get well message. That'll definitely lift her spirits. <clears throat> She's in the hospital with cellulitis. I've said that a few times now through this beach walk, but she'd appreciate a little few little kind words there I'm sure should get a kick out of that let her know Rob told you to send her a message <laughs> you know how well hopefully you don't know how it is when you're in the hospital but a lot of us know what it's like when you're in the hospital getting a visitor <sighs> that's like a ray of sunshine Roy is all hoping for all the visitors he can get. Our friend Roy is up in North Naples at Solaris. Solaris Healthcare up in North Naples at Imperial. If you Google Solaris, solar like the sun with an IS, Solaris, Imperial, just Google that and you'll get the address of the place. And he is in room 175 at Solaris, room 175. Now, I keep hearing an osprey screeching out. I'll be darned if I can spot it up here. It's really loud. And I do not see him up in this tree. Usually they're pretty easy to spot, but it's kind of overcast here. So they can blend in really well. There he is. They usually sit out on the on the end of the branches. This is really crappy lighting this morning, but I'll try to zoom into him here. It's gonna be hard spotting him. Yeah, no, you can see him pretty well. See him out there on the end of the branch there? The osprey sitting up there? Let's see if he screeches out, he or she. He's just waiting for a fish to come swimming by. Unfortunately, he's gonna be waiting a long time. There's not much life out there in the water. And apparently it doesn't hurt them eating the fish. Beautiful birds are those osprey. They kind of look like bald eagles. Earlier this morning, as I was walking along the beach, I was, see the osprey is right up there, right up there. But as I was walking along the beach, I was talking about Roy, and the osprey came swooping down out of the tree and dove into the water just ahead of me. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you could see it in the live feed. What time that happened, I have no idea. I've been out here for a while. It's been a pretty long walk this morning. Long, slow walk. 
just wanted to check out the whole beach. The whole beach at Del Nor Wiggins. Let me you know, rephrase that. The whole beach at Del Nor Wiggins, which is up in North Naples. The conditions of our beaches change. It seems right now, it seems right now, the general rule of thumb is the further south you go, the better the water conditions. I'm hearing stories that it's beautiful on Marco Island. I mean, that's what I'm seeing on social media. I haven't seen any you know, results from water tests or anything like that. I'm just going by what I hear and the pictures I see and what people are saying. Saying Marco is really nice. And the beach is down in the Port Royal area here in Naples. Down in South Naples are supposedly pretty nice. But the further north you go, the worse it gets. You can see our water here. It's, it's very hard to see the color of the water right now because the sun is not shining bright. It's in, we're just covered with clouds this morning here. But you can see the bottom. The water is not as bad as it was by any means, but it is not as nice as it should be. So there you have it. <laughs> And there are dead fish washing up on the beach occasionally. There's another one. By no means is this beach free and clear of dead beach at Wiggins Pass. And the only reason the beaches to the south of us are free and clear of dead fish, or at least 99% of, I'd say, clean. It's because they have, the county and city have machines to clean the beaches. Whereas up here at the state park, they have to do it by hand. And by the way, they're always looking for volunteers at all of our Florida state parks. You can always become a volunteer not just here at Del Nor Wiggins, anywhere throughout the state of Florida. For some reason, one of our most important assets gets the least amount of funding, our Florida State Parks. So if you can help out, if you appreciate nature and Florida's natural beauty, think about volunteering at one of our state parks. If you're here in Naples, volunteer at Del Nor Wiggins. You get to come out to the beach, not just hang around at the state park. You get to come out to the beach. <laughs> I saw a fish jump out there. I don't know what kind it was. This is the first one I noticed jumping out in the water. One fish. Can you imagine a mile of beach? I saw one fish jumping in the water. Usually this water is teeming teeming with fish. An osprey just flew over, just flew over my head. I hear another one. Yep, there goes another one. Just flew over my head. Two ospreys. Look at all the, I don't know if you can see them up there. A bunch of seagulls. A bunch of seagulls flying by. 
Hope they don't drop a bomb on me. Yeah. Two ospreys just flew down, landed in the pine trees down there. Maybe we'll catch them. Maybe they'll be there when we walk by. Sea turtle nesting season is pretty much over here. Now we're just into the hatching season. It's, we've been into the hatching season now for oh, a month and a half or so, a couple months. Now we're just praying that these little sea turtles make it when they do hatch. The few nests that are left that the raccoons haven't destroyed. Hope these little sea turtles survive this red tide and make it out into clean water. Saturday morning at the beach in Southwest Florida. Look at that. Just look at that. Horrible. Horrible. Nobody here. The beach is far from pristine. This deserted beach. Up where Roy hangs out, up in area four up there, I do see some people. And there's a sprinkling of people on the beach. That's where Roy sits up there, where you see that little spit sticking out. That's where Roy would be, but not many people. Normally this beach would be full of people on a Saturday. Despite the clouds. You can see all the way up to Benita, Fort Myers up there. When I zoom in like that, it really compresses it. Getting a low battery warning. Well, right out there. Another reminder, red tide is still lurking. There's another dead fish out there. Well, I almost made it back to where I started. Down in area, down in area one. Be sure to take some time and check out my photos and videos. Go back a few years. To see what this beach looked like when I first started doing these beach walks and what it's going to look like again one of these days get back to his beautiful self be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida television be sure to hit the like and follow button I appreciate everybody watching in the comments always make sure you let everybody know where you're watching from in those comments introduce yourself to the group we're like a big family here of course I don't get paid to come out here and do this Southwest Florida television that's just the name of my Facebook page here You want to make a little contribution it's always appreciated you can find my paypal account info in the description of this post at the conclusion of this live feed i appreciate the little contributions that some of you have made it definitely helps 
Let's pay the phone bill. It's important to keep the phone on so we can continue to do these live walks. I'll be checking in on Roy later today. I'll try to post a little update. And if the weather holds out, I might even try to get up to Fort Myers Beach and get some video up there and show you the difference a few miles makes. It's supposed to be much worse up there. We're gonna find out, seeing who's believing. There's that, there's another osprey up here. I don't know if you can see him up there at the end of the branch there. Kind of hidden. My battery's getting low here. I got to sign off. I want to thank everybody for watching. Again, be sure to tell all your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take the time to check all of my photos and videos out. Go back a few years. Check out some of those dolphin sightings with Roy and I. Send Jennifer a message. Jennifer Ann, hoping for, praying for a speedy recovery for her so she can get back to taking care of Roy. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. Hey, have a wonderful Saturday, a wonderful weekend, wherever you might be. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.